Good morning. It is almost six in the morning here in Papua New Guinea this morning. Josh and I are going to be heading down to Port Moores. We were here in Goroka and then on to Australia today. That's why I'm wearing a different color shirt today. But I'm just going to film the flight down to Port Moores because I haven't done that flight in quite a while with you guys. Thought it might be interesting. We've got um, maybe some fog getting out of here, but it should be nice about halfway down. It should be nice and clear getting all the way down to Moresby. So hour and a half flight down. Let's jump in and get going. Looks like it's actually clearing out. Okay, out there we'll have some fog, but still have some visibility out there. Let me check those. And my fuel is on. All right, over 14%. We'll wait for oil pressure to come up as high as we can this morning. Just the first start. We'll introduce our fuel. Which energy first? For 35, the miles go up to ITT and peaks out 627. Look at that, I actually get to use my lighted thing. Test, test, test. Never get a light, use it. Oh, very fancy. Okay, our fuel has been checked, our caps have been checked, and our selectors are both on. Our controls are good, our TAWs will leave enabled for this morning. Switches and instruments, we've got 15,000, that's what I filed for. All right, you and I, a thousand pounds and 10 kgs in the hat rack. Already got all of our equipment set up. So, our two POB, there we go. Yes. Stroke tower, good morning. Cody, act of Tango Kilo. 56 and 60. November, Tango Kilo, Grokata. Morning, turn up Tango Kilo, taxis for Moresby, two POB. November, Tango Kilo, taxi for runway one, turn right, taxi one, to the left, turn up, QNH, one, zero, two, two. Taxi one, seven, right via, backtrack one, seven, left, one, zero, two, two, November, Tango Kilo. This isn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be with the rain coming in. Alright, clear left, clear right. Clear right. Overspeed check. It's been a long time since I've done a Don. All right, for you guys who don't know Josh, who haven't seen a video in a couple years with him, he's one of our helicopter pilots. He used to fly the Kodiak. Now he's getting back into flying both. We recently did his check to get back into this. So this is his flight down to Australia to get re-going on that himself so he can be on the medevac list. And then hopefully this summer, um, he'll start flying a little bit of the Kodiak as well. So. Yeah, it'll be nice to have that back on board so that Andrew and I aren't the only pilots this summer. Time to have take a kilos ready on lineup. Let's just warm it up a little bit more. It's almost there, but not quite. And November, Tango Kilo, runway one, turn right, left turn, good for takeoff. Seven, seven, right, left turn, clear for takeoff, November, take a kilo. All right, clear for takeoff, our trim and a board. Our trims are set up, if we have to board, in case there's something on the runway we don't see, we'll just stop on the runway, heavy reverse. Heavy braking for going off, cut off, pull off, and shut off after takeoff. We'll pitch for 85 knots, considering APL. Considering feather, if we have to feather it, then it's gonna be cut our idle. Cut off, pull off, and shut off. And um, probably head to the highway if that's possible today. All right, oil temps up to 55 almost, there it is. All right, ignition, inlet, and lights are done. Oh, the Alpha November Romeo, 1201. Harnesses. We've done our governor check. So ignition condition, flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. 1390, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Rotate 56. Necklace is complete. All right, airspeed's alive, torque is set, and there's rotate. For ITT. Yeah, it's actually not near as bad as I was kind of anticipating it to be. Yeah, it looks nice. Over 300, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. Over 90 with a zero. 
Um, well, let's go ahead and fly the whole procedure just because I can only see about 10 miles. Yeah, sounds good. So, oh, we'll get up through that layer. All right. Clank tower on up tango, kilo depart time zero seven. We're uh, tracking at one four eight on climb and not above one five thousand. It's maintaining overhead on bog at time four one. November at tango kilo, we copy departure. Not very much contact, much than one two zero. This move seven and six six two two. One two zero decimal seven six six two two one five. November tango kilo morning crew. All right, I'm just going to trim it out for about 100 climbing up. I'm going to throw this down to 1012 for the time being. And a secondary 1012. And, all right, that's on to Ambog. Oh, you already put the rest in? Yeah. He's going to get up here. Else. Once we clear out, then I'll usually just put the other, but that's fine with me. I had nothing else to do. All right, looks like 9,000, 8,000, something like that is when we go in. And you said you checked the weather this morning to where it starts clearing up, probably around um, Ambog area? Yeah. See, it's all clear down here. All okay. that by Karama's building up, but that was like... It looks pretty thin as is. Yeah. It would not surprise me if we end up on top, and then, yeah, down into Moresby. I mean... Looks pretty nice. What about going down to Australia, though? A little bit a of A little clouds. bit right there, but... That's kind of what it was showing yesterday well, evening yeah the i think our I, concerns for icing are probably not as existent today as they were yesterday like what that. is the moisture showing there. low clouds yeah it doesn't look like it's going to be that high of stuff coming out of moresby that's a six we're going to be getting out of there by eight it looks about the same for low clouds well there's a lot more layers out here than i was kind of anticipating i thought it was just going to be some low clouds not only up to 12 i thought we would have broke out by 10 or 11 by now so, temperature's six. I'm gonna throw my pita heats on now because we will get down below five. And when we get down below five, we need to throw these on just for the potential of potential icing. Typically, I'd say any icing I ever pick up is usually 14 and above. Like, below, even if it is cold, it just seems that the water just runs off the yeah. aircraft. Between plus five and negative five, once you get bolt underneath negative five there's much less likely that it adheres to the aircraft i and don't think i've ever, well i have actually up to like 20 plus thousand in this but yeah. other than that for the, our daily kind of stuff yeah i don't ever see really below probably negative negative three maybe get my oxygen ready where's the uh, be good morning kodiak november tango kilo november tango kilo must be good morning go ahead Good morning, November Tango. Kilo is uh, tracking 154 for Ombog, an estimate overhead Ombog at time of 40. November Tango, Kilo, Raja on climb, no reported traffic. Eric QNH is 1013. 1013, confirmed for November Tango. Kilo. November Tango, Kilo. Zero one three. Oh, you already changed it. And one zero one three. So, one thing I've noticed about the Kodiak is that, and what I know about the Kodiak is that it handles icing really, really well compared to like a caravan or something. Oh, yeah. Um, I've never experienced anything really bad. I've had, I've had some icing, um, you know, a quarter inch or less, and the thing didn't even really notice. But I've talked to guys who've gone out and were part of the kind of testing team who flow both caravans and Kodiaks, and they say that the uh, the Kodiak just handles it like a champ. You can get get a lot more icing before you really need to start worrying. I think I obviously not certified for flight to known ice. No, I the think TK the most stuff. I had was maybe a quarter inch, and it came on in like three seconds. Oh. I was at 19,000, went into a cloud, and it just was like a sheet of ice that just went bam. Oh, man. And um, indicated airspeed probably dropped 10 knots, immediately turned back around and was in clear blue skies, and it still took 20 minutes to actually melt off. So oh. I was like, yeah, That's I think no I'm going to. I had one time I got ice really bad on descent into the Papandetta, where I actually was got a little bit nervous, just not about the amount of ice that I had, but how quickly it was accumulating. 
Yeah, and see, that's the problem with flying IMC stuff in the clouds in the mountains is you get on certain routes and like your minimum safe is in the icing levels and there, there's nowhere else to go. Once you're there, you're either going to commit yourself to going up that high or you're just going to go down lower and work through the lower Time stuff. All right, just approaching 15,000 now. Outside temp, two degrees, not bad. There's no moisture right now, and the clouds seem to be fairly dry today, actually. They don't really seem to be putting out much moisture, so. Yeah, I'm not super concerned about it at this moment. All right, airspeed's slowly coming up. We're at 15,000, so the indicator's gonna be a little bit lower than what it is normally. And I'm just bringing my ITT back here to 700 now that we're over about 13,000 feet. So we're just gonna limit ourselves with the ITT instead of our torque. And typically, we're flying around with like 1250 on the torque. You can see at a higher altitude, your torque's going to be a little bit lower. I would have thought that they would have given us our clearance. Once we get into here, it starts at 15,000. So we're going to need clearance before we get into that line right there. So on bog right now is currently six minutes away. So we should probably call and ask them for clearance. More speed of Epitanko. Kilo, one zero decimal seven, staying by ATC clearance at one five thousand. Seven decimal kilo, Roger. We'll call again on board. Can expect clearance by on board. We'll call again on board and expect clearance then. Does uh, everything kilo? Pictures just don't quite give the same feeling now. Morsby, Morsby, November Tango, Kilo overhead on at this time, one five thousand. Mipa next, zero two. November Tango, Kilo, stand by for clearance. <laughs> Standing by for clearance, November Tango, Kilo. They just really don't want to give it to us today, do they? <laughs> Port Moldesby Airport, information mic. Time, 2003 Zulu. Runway, 32. Wind, 330 degrees, 5 knots. Visibility, 10 kilometers or more. Temperature, 24. QNH, 1011. Cloud, view, 500 feet, scattered above 5,000 feet. Dew points not available. Caution, bird strike hazard exists within flight strips. Acknowledge information, Mike. Oh, if I give us the visual, and by the time I get up there in another uh, 49 minutes, there'll probably be no scattered at 500, is my guess. Probably. Or it be a thick blanket of fog. <laughs> yeah. Well, what we can do is we can put in um, just a thousand feet for pad. Actually, it's uh, 1,200, I believe. Yeah, 11, uh, elevation's 129 feet. All right, so we'll do 1,100. And I'll put in 800 feet per minute in case that they're kind of slow on getting it to us so that we can keep it still within 1,000. It's probably around Sokto. Yeah, just past Sokto is going to be our top of descent. November Tango, Kilo Moresby clearing. Moresby, November Tango, Kilo, go ahead. November Tango, Kilo, ETC clearance, standard control area track, Ombog, Maipa, Sokto, Moresby. And that one five thousand, code zero three seven one. Clear to enter controlled airspace track uh, off bog might be Sakto Moresby. Enter at one five thousand and squawk zero three seven one November ten kilo. November Tango Kilo. Our reported traffic OCTA over my park contact Moresby radar one one nine at decimal three. Contact uh Moresby radar one one nine or decimal three, my bad of ten kilo morning. Once we radar November Tango Kilo, good morning. November Tango Kilo, must be radar, good morning, identified, verify level. November Tango Kilo, we're level 1, 5,000. November Tango Kilo, Raja, when ready, DCM 10,000, uh, QNH 1012. I'm ready, descend 10,000 on uh, 1012, November Tango Kilo. Whenever you're ready, you can go down to 10. Yeah. But we're not ready yet, so. All right, so our top of descent was way up here, so I'll just split it in halfway and uh, then we'll start going down at a slower amount. 
so that they're not going at Sokto. Why haven't you gone on descent yet? Even though we don't need to, so. Okay. Alpha Tango, Bravo, position uh, really 135. Really quiet today. Yeah, it Miles is. Miles to the northwest, the identification terminated. Contact Mosby now, primary 124. I'm gonna go ahead and just listen to see if the weather's been updated now. It's over seven. Mosby Airport, information November. Time, 2042 Zulu, runway, 32, wind, 330 degrees, 5 knots, visibility, 10 kilometers or more, temperature, 24, QNH, 1012, cloud, view, 300 feet, broken above 5,000 feet, dew point not available, caution, bird strike hazard exists within flight strip. Acknowledge information November. Well, it got worse. It got worse, but it's only saying few, and they aren't saying a specific instrument approach is in right. use. So I'm not too concerned, but I'm yeah, assuming that we'll still do the visual left downwind is my probably after we you know get under the broken layer. All right. Well, there's 700. I'll just start my descent, so she's not questioning. Morsby, November Tango, Kilo's leaving 15,000 on descent, 10,000. November Tango Kilo. All right, our fuel selectors are November, on. November Tango Kilo, Cotec Jackson Radar, 125 decimal 8. 125 decimal 8, November Tango Kilo, morning. Morning. Selectors and brakes are good. Jackson's Radar, good morning. Kodiak, November Tango Kilo. Left uh, one four thousand five hundred on descent one zero thousand. November Tango Kilo Jackson Trader. Good morning. Expect a visual left down in for runway three two left. Information November is current. And descent to six thousand. Descent six thousand. Expect a visual three two left. Information November received November Tango Kilo. All right, all the way down to six thousand, like we were expecting. Just a visual. Probably just a couple of scattered clouds on all the mountain tops off to the right. When we get in there, I'm assuming. Let's look at our arrival landing performance. We've got a VRF of 62 knots. We'll flip off our pitot heats here in just a second. We're still five degrees. Not that we're gonna pick anything up, but it'll just ding at me if I turn them off now. So viewers, if you guys are wondering, what's the process of going down to Australia? I've shown some other videos. I'll try to link one up here if I can remember, or you can just search on my channel for international flights. But basically, what we have to do is, you have all the other, yeah, it's back there. Yeah, I can grab it. Basically, what we have to do is we have to just go through customs and immigration as we get out of here. So we'll basically have a gen deck. I'd, general declaration saying that we're not taking anything out when we're leaving, things like that, that we'll take to customs. They'll give it their stamp of approval. And then we'll take that over to immigration with our passports. And they'll stamp our passports and take one of those gen decks. And that's about it. It takes probably only 15 minutes or so to clear out of customs and immigration out of here. We'll fill up with our fuel, we'll top our tanks all the way up. It's a three hour flight straight down to Australia over the open water all the way. And like I said, if you're interested in seeing one of those videos on what it's like, I think I go a little bit more into the paperwork side of things on one of my videos um, on being able to get into Australia because there's probably what, maybe like six or eight different sheets of paper that we have, different forms, things like that, so. Something like that. All right, well, there's six degrees on outside temp, so I'm gonna turn my pitot heats off. Once we get down below 10,000 feet, then we'll throw our landing light on and- go Take the oxygen off. Yes, actually I can do that now. It's a bummer, because this is the shot to get right here. <laughs> it always looks so weird just coming at like a wall. November Tango Kilo, descent 4,000. Descent 4,000, November Tango Kilo. Down four. 
And looks like we are breaking out with a couple smaller ones, but I bet you 5,000 and below, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, according to the Thetis, for sure. Now that we're getting a little bit lower, my power hasn't adjusted at all. It's still up close to 700 on the ITT. I'm gonna keep my speeds just below 170 though, just so that as I get down even closer to sea level, if I leave it like this, we will oversweep the aircraft. So, because I mean my torques at 1500 were typically I'm going to be cruising around at like 1250 or something at this altitude. So, as we get lower, I'm just going to keep an eye on my air speeds and then just keep pulling my power so that my air speeds still remaining 165 to 170. But that way I'm not going above it. In case I hit any turbulence along the way, it's not spiking it up another 10 or 12 knots because 182 is the max. And also just so that I'm paying attention to it. I don't want to like not look at it and then overspeed the aircraft by accident. Sometimes when you go through clouds even, sometimes it will bounce you all around, but these ones seem to be pretty smooth coming in, so. Yep, clear underneath. Those rays are pretty cool looking though. Yeah. The radar November Tango Kilo is left 6,300 visual. November Tango Kilo, thank you. Descent to 3,500. And when ready, break right to joint left downward runway, 32 left. Said 3,500, when ready, break right for the left downward runway, 32 left, in November, Tango, Kilo. November, Tango, Kilo, descent 2,500. 2,500, November, Tango, Kilo. If I bring it up here on this big screen, I'm getting up to 2,500 just before I'm entering my downwind, so. That'll give me a little bit of time to get my speeds down on downwind because I'll be coming in at like 170. November Tango Kilo, cleared visual approach for left downwind, 32 left, contact tower 118, that's 41 now. Cleared visual approach, uh, left downwind, 32 left, contact tower to the particular morning. Jackson's Tower, good morning. Uh, Kodiak, November Tango, kilos on the visual, 32 left, left downwind. November Tango Kilo, tower, good morning, runway 32 left, continue approach. The approach 32 left of November 10 kilo. I haven't yet said helicopter. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go down at a thousand feet just so I can get down to my level. And then once I'm there, I got there a little bit earlier now that we've been cleared for the visual and everything. That way I have a little more time to slow down on my downwind because I'm going to be coming in, like I said, at 170. I'm going to slow down probably around 100 ish to 110 kind of on my downwind. And then slowest in is at 62 knots. I think I said it was three to five knots down the runway. So we'll probably come in closer to like 70 knots and I'm planning on landing a little bit long so that we can taxi down further on down because we're gonna be getting off almost well, three quarters of the way down the runway. Well, I guess two thirds looking at the taxiway. It's about two thirds of the way down. So there's no point landing right at the end. Okay, we're just waiting on landing clearance and flaps to go. I'll give them a call base if they don't give it to us before then. We've got 10 degrees of flaps now. I think she's departing a helicopter in front of us, so. Uh, okay. November Tango Kilo is turning uh, final 3 2 left. November Tango Kilo, Roger. Runway 3 2 left, clear to land. 3 2 left, clear to land, November Tango Kilo. You are clear to land. Oh. Five knots, headwind, 600 on the descent. That's just because I'm going in fast. A little bit more shallow than normally, but it's all right. Is this the only taxiway? This one or the end? Let's do this one then. Although they might be crossing. I think here. they might be crossing. And uh, Tower of Everything, okay, you want us to roll through or exit here? Tower of Everything, Kilo up. Can exit here behind the ATR on Alpha. All right, exit on Fox right behind the ATR of Everything, Kilo will be taxiing for International. Tower of Everything, Kilo. Contact ground 121 decimal 7. Welcome, good morning. Jackson's ground, good uh, morning, Cody, I can take kilo. November, Tango Kilo, ground, continue, taxi. 
Taxi, taxi uh, off Foxtrot for international, for that particular kilo. Right. Well, guys, thanks for joining on Josh on this. We're going to be heading on down to Morsby. I'm not going to, or down to Kansas. I'm not going to film that flight. If you like, I said, if you want to see that flight, they're all the same going down there. So.